Hello everybody, welcome back to the Firefly Studio. I've got a journal to share with you that I've just completed. I've been working on this one for a while. It's uh, got a lot of handmade embellishments in it, full of a lot of um, original vintage ephemera receipts and postcards and so on. So it's a fabric uh, cover and this journal is about five and three quarter by eight and three quarter. It's a one signature and the cover, I've just got a mix of fabrics and old, I love this lace, I picked this up some time back and then I've got an old um, brooch here that I've added to it. The closure is Sorry Silk this is 1950s uh, bark cloth. I love that image. So lots of um, vintage laces and things have been incorporated. I'll try to point those out um, when I run across them, but I do tend to forget <laughs> as I'm going through things. So here we are at the front. Um, just a little journal card got um, little things in here that I've stenciled with the modeling paste and then I love how this little journal card came out. So you've got a double pocket on the front and just this pretty uh, heart trim lace down here. I love this. It's one of my favorite laces I've got. So here I've made a belly band and I've just uh, layered and collaged to make that. And then a little pocket here on this journal, um, large journal card, and then a couple of tags inside there as well. Another handmade journal card with some sari, and um, I think this is a chiffon ribbon. Page that I thought went nice with this because there's a lot of florals in this um, fabric uh, ruffles here that are vintage fabrics. And I have a little tiny tag here, some stamping and stenciling throughout, and then here I've just made a little scrappy with the off-cuts uh, notepad, and then this will flip over, so there's a lot of extra writing space here. So in this little tuck spot here, this is some um, TaylorMade's avocado uh, lace, or avocado doily papers, and then I've got a very old Paris uh, postcard there, and then this is one of the fabric altered um, index cards that I've made. I did a tutorial for that some time ago. And then just another little digital ticket from my stash. A little embellishment there. And then this little uh, rusted paper clip and I've added this old um, button to that. And then this comes off and this is like a mini file folder so that you can do some writing in there. And this is a vintage um, French uh, book page. And I've just stenciled on that. And then over here I've just got another little tuck spot here. And this is a, just an old piece of uh, notebook paper, and then this is just a little journal card that I made in various layers to it. I love how this has come out. A doily here that I've added some uh, glimmer mist to, so it's got a really nice sound to it. <laughs> and then this is an old... Um, <clears throat> Just a very old uh, 1917 
uh, it's not a calling card. Well, maybe it is because it's it's for somebody's birthday. And it's the size of one of the old calling cards, so I don't know. But May 22nd, 1917, I love that. And then this is an old um, French magazine page that I've just added to it. And then another little tag within a tag here. And I've just clipped these with a tiny Tim Holtz paper clip because that paper is a bit fragile. I mean, it's you just have to be careful when you pull that on and off. Some coffee dyed paper. And then this is another hand made journal card that I backed with tea dyed paper here. Another very old French magazine page. I believe these were the early 1900s, if I'm not mistaken. So just made a little pocket there and tucked that in. So this has got a lot of reds. Um, it wasn't meant to be um, a Valentine's, but I guess it kind of reminds me because it's got so many reds throughout and a lot of the roses. Um, but I haven't put anything specific to Valentine, Valentine's Day. So this is a um, digital. This is not an original uh, because I don't own any original. Well, I do. I was gifted one, but I'm keeping it for myself because I've never been able to get my hands on it. Um, and then an old little um, souvenir photo from, and they're, they're all from uh, France, so it's very much um, a vintage French journal, and then this is just a digital I printed from uh, online, an old recipe, and then I've added some of the modeling paste there with the stencil, and then this pocket this was some very old um, lace and trims. I ran across at a thrift store probably a year and a half ago now. Maybe longer. Sorry, I'm losing Yeah, it's probably closer to two years. And within it, it looked as though it was um, someone had cut off a sleeve of a lady's. But, oh gosh, it's old. It's so, so delicate. So I, I have no idea to know, know how old that is, but... Uh, I've been saving that, and so I, I just thought it looked beautiful on that fabric pocket. More lace here. Probably the most lace I've ever put in a journal. Um, it just, I don't know, it just took on a life of its own, as these things do sometimes. This is just an old sewing um, page. I think about the 1950s, this one. And then over here, I've just added... This little, it's fabric with a little tag and embellishment onto a um, safety pin. And then I put that onto a paper clip. And that's just holding these. This is a handmade journal card that I backed with some paper so you could do some writing. And then this came from Chapter 1. I bought one. I was lucky enough to um, purchase one of Chapter 1's inspiration uh, boxes. Um, when she f came out with those and this was included because I don't have this embossing folder or oh, how I would love to get my hands on one of those because that is gorgeous and so this is an old German book page and I just had to include it because this being the postcard is what the name of this journal is it just had to go with this um, this journal but I love that embossing folder I am I'm going to do a search and see if I can come across one of those. And then on this one, I just went ahead and added this little file folder. It's like a little mini file folder. And then I did some stenciling here. 
and added this trim onto this uh, ledger paper. Some stamping here. And then this is very old um, receipt. It's a French receipt. Um, 1896, I think. November 23rd, 1896, I believe that is, and that's French. And then here I've just made another little journaling. And then this has got uh, some stenciling. Just a tiny little tag there, tucked in that. And then I love how this journal card came out. This is just like one of the little window ones, and this is some velvet trim that I recently got. I just think that's come out really pretty, and I backed it with tea dye paper. So that's tucked in there. So there's still quite a lot of uh, writing space, although it is very heavily embellished, as you can see. More old uh, vintage fabric. I love those ruffles. And this is from a book that I believe is about 1906. And I do love to read this stuff. Here I've got a little lace pocket. And then this large journal card. I think she's so pretty. Sitting there thinking, thinking about what she's going to do the rest of the day. And that's the center of the signature. Uh, just one of my, I, I call them like a page ador adornment, various old trims and bits of leftover uh, papers. And then this, I love how this came out in that beautiful, that old button there that opens up. And then you've got this little journal card tucked in there. And then I just uh, ran this through the embosser, and it's got a little bit of sheen on it. So I like, I like that page for some added texture. And then here we've got a um, little envelope that can be glued or left as a writing space. And then a couple more little journal cards all tucked in there. And then I just added another of these little mini file folders and I've stenciled on that. So a lot of pinks and reds in this. Love that paper. And then here we've got um, this little stamped tag. I made these little embellishments. And then this is a 1894 French receipt. And it's got the stamp on that as well. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the color of this. It's unusual to get um, the colors, so I, I love that piece. I've been hoarding that for some time in my stash, so I thought, oh, it's time for me to share the other side of that um, other receipt. And then here, this is just a little journal card I've made. Got a fabric uh, doily pocket there. And then this is just a little thing I was playing around. And you've got two little pockets here that you can add something with. And this was made from old book pages. And I just thought it was kind of sweet in there. Old uh, math book page. And then this tag I've made... Uh, with decoupage on the napkins. That's a little fabric pocket there. More fabric ruffle. And a couple more journal cards and a tag there. I love this kind of a gray-blue page. That is so pretty to me. And then here, just another page adornment. And then this, I just made this little journal card here. Did some inking on that and just collaging. 
and that's been backed with some tea dyed paper. And then this is that old mag, it's a French magazine page, so do be careful taking this in and out. And then that's that's the woman. They always look so glamorous, didn't they? She was probably only going out to pump gas in the car, but look at her. Got her diamonds on and oh they're so so beautiful back then. And then this is just a little flip out here. Got another little cluster down here. I love this this little page. Isn't that pretty today? So you've got writing there and on the back. Just did some embellishing up there and then just some old trim that's fallen apart. I just love how that came out. And so a couple more places to write or you could take them and put them in another journal if it's too many. And then here just got some extra scrap paper, little journal, cigarette card, and then a couple of tickets there. And those are tucked in. That's a collage uh, pocket there. And then another book page pocket with a tag tucked in there. And a little label. And some more beautiful trim. And then this page, I just did some sewing along the edge. So like, like I said, quite a lot of writing still in there. And then this one, you've got a large pocket back here. And then this actually opens up for additional writing space. If you don't want to use it that way, you can just glue it and make it into a pocket. But I knew that I was going to be heavily embellishing this one, and I wanted to make sure that I had allowed enough space for journaling. So this is the postcard. Um, just completed, and it's in the shop available if you're interested. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you all are having a great weekend, and uh, hopefully you're getting some time to do some some fun things, whether that's crafting or maybe you want to get outside. It's pouring down rain here, so I'm not thinking we're going to get out too much today. <laughs> so I'll just stay in where it's warm and cozy and continue to work on some some crafts. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, thank you to all my su new subscribers who have recently joined. I appreciate it so much. You guys take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.